Yo, what is up for the YouTubians? This is Mr. Legacy back at you once again with our Minecraft console edition news and discussion video. So today we'll be talking about a new game mode coming to console edition. So guys, just a quick reminder, make sure to like the video if you did like it. The likes help out me and the channel so much and also shows me that you support my videos. Also comment down below with any questions you might have and subscribe if you already haven't. So guys, as I said at the start of this video, we'll be talking about a new game mode coming to console edition in the TU28 update. Now TU28 update won't be around for about four months at the uh, at the least anyway is when we will possibly be seeing it but um what is fun to note is that 4j studios have said that we will begin the rest of the 1.7.2 features and a good few features from the 1.8 now they haven't clarified whether we're getting all of them but uh one of these cool features is a new game mode type called spectator mode now you're probably wondering oh mr legacy sure you can just watch players from your own player but um this is completely different this isn't really what you kind of would think well it is kind of what you would think spectator mode obviously enough but there's a lot in it and it's really really cool and I just want to do kind of an in-depth um, analysis of it and, and give you a lot of information in regards to it. It is a possible feature on the table for us to get in the TU28 update. So hopefully this is something we get. I think a lot of people get a lot of use out of it, especially playing Hunger Game maps and stuff like that. Meaning you wouldn't actually have to kick players. That would be pretty cool. As I said, this came from the 1.8 update, more commonly known as the Bountiful update. Due to the amount of new kind of stuff that came into it, it was a huge, huge update. And it had a lot of world changing stuff in it as well. So we're going to dive into what spectator mode is. Essentially, it can only be accessed and reversed with the game mode type. Either using the spectator, SP or 3. Now this does not apply to us as all we will do is go into the uh, game settings on our, um, on, our, on our control tab like we have. And we'll be able to change it from uh, let's say survival to spectator mode. Uh, that the way that we're currently doing it right now. Now in relation to PC, it is like creative mode and only the void or backslash kill can damage or kill a spectator. Again, this does not apply to us, but uh, in the sense it is like creative in which you cannot die, you have complete immunity, um, nothing can kill you. But you can't really do anything, which is uh, another aspect of it. It is not like creative in which you can place down loads of blocks, basically you're just spectating. Now, fun thing to note is the player model and in the inventory is it completely invisible. Free roaming is enabled. Uh, this feature doesn't actually apply to Minecraft console edition, but if the world border isn't right next to the edge of the world, then it has no effect on spectators apart from the warning colors display. This probably won't take effect in Minecraft console edition. But our cool features um, are that the player can fly through solid blocks. And that, that is amazing. That really is cool. You're basically a ghost form. Um, I'm, I'm thinking that if they do this, uh, they will have a very um, slight outline of the spectator. So you'll be able to see that someone is in spectator mode. But uh, at the same time, they're not a full character. They look like a ghost nearly. Uh, they have very lowered opacity and they can pass through stuff, obviously enough, which is going to be a very, very cool feature. If the player head, or the head of the player, whichever way you want to say it, is inside of a block, then an X-ray-like effect will occur, where every block is invisible until it is adjacent to an air block, or the model does not occupy a full space anymore. Night vision effects will still affect spectators, they're one of the only potions that actually will work, and a first person view through another player or mob's eyes will also occur. Hence the name spectator mode. Now what is included in this, because um, I said another player's eyes or a mob's eyes, well essentially it includes non-mob entities like paintings or minecarts. Creepers, spiders and endermen apply a specific shader while spectating through each of them. Spectating through a player shows the respective HUD and what exactly the player is doing. So essentially you are the player without actually having the control of the player. It's pretty cool. And pressing the dismount key or shipped by default that applies to PC, returns the player to flying mode um, in which they can free roam and they're no longer spectating. But they cannot have any direct contact or effect on the world while you're actually in spectating mode. Now if we get this on console edition, my opinion is that in more than likely um, they won't have the includes non-mob entities like paintings or minecarts. That definitely won't be there and I don't think we'll be able to view through the um, perspective of 
uh, mobs, which are AIs essentially, but I'd say it will be mainly aimed at spectating through players' eyes, um, because uh, 4G Studios know a lot of people play Hunger Games and stuff on Minecraft Console Edition, so this feature would benefit, um, would, would heavily benefit the likes of Hunger Games and stuff, so we would have a spectating mode like they have on PC once you die. Now, I do have different viewing privileges in which they cannot catch on fire so their view isn't obstructed. Spectators can see other spectators as disembodied translucent heads with their corresponding player skin. As I stated before, uh, basically the opacity would be brought down very low on the um, character skins once you go into spectator mode and you would essentially look like a ghost with just an outline uh, flurrying around. All invisible players or mobs appear visible but translucent. Another really cool feature involved in this is the automated targeting teleportation um, of spectators uh, to different players via a UI interface that they would have. Essentially, it would just come up with the head in, instead of having an inventory full of uh, maybe a sword or whatever, what would be present is a head. Uh, the head of the uh, players currently playing their skin with their name and maybe hovering above it. You click on it and you teleport straight to them where they are and be able to view what they are currently viewing. But of course, you wouldn't be able to interact with the environment. If anyone plays Mindplex or Hypixel over in the Hunger Games there or any of the mini games, you'll be quite familiar with how this works. Now, of course, with all the good bonuses, there's limitations to the spectators and uh, spectator mode, uh, in which spectators cannot load terrain. Terrain loads very uh, slow, and they cannot interact with blocks or entities apart from spectating through the latter. Uh, they cannot interact with any inventory, including their own. Look at the inventory of other players or mobs apart from the hotbar of the items the players currently have in their hotbar, and they also cannot control the behavior of any entity to which they are currently spectating. All in all guys, that is really all in relation to um, spectator mode. There's a lot of technical statistics and facts and stuff, which you guys really don't need to know. You just need to know the very uh, basics of how it's going to run, how it's going to operate. I, for one, think this would be an amazing game mode. I'm hoping it is something we will be seeing in the TU28 update. As I said, we were getting a lot of features from 1.8, but not all the features. Just a bear that in mind, we will be getting the rest of the features from the 1.7.2 update so hopefully this is something we see would you guys like to see it make sure to comment down below question of the day has been hovering above obviously enough but make sure to answer that guys i'd love to know what you guys think and how this game mode will come in handy so that's it for this video guys i hope you did enjoy make sure to like comment favorite and subscribe after you watch this video if you did in fact enjoy it hit the big thumbs up button down below also question of the day will be on screen now so make sure to answer that if you have any input or just ask me questions in general in relation to anything to do with minecraft console edition i do videos on my channel like this every day in relation to minecraft console edition they vary obviously enough but yeah if you haven't subscribed yet make sure to hit that subscribe button till next time guys this has been mr legacy and i'll see you all on the dock so guys to stay up to date with all the latest minecraft news information make sure to follow me on both twitter and instagram which are at josh youtuber links will be down in the description of this video and up above so make sure to go and follow me guys and have a great day